This video is about the Franco-German friendship. If you like to have an historic date, when this friendship started is 1963, the signing of the Elysee Treaty. To understand the relationship between France and Germany, you have to go back quite a few centuries to the 9th century. It was the empire of Charles the Great, which covered both nowadays France and nowadays Germany. He had three sons, and after he died, the empire was divided. There was the West Frankish Empire, the East Frankish Empire, and territories in the middle. In the west, there should be France, and the east, the Holy Roman Empire of German nation was formed. Later, uh, what came was the German Empire. The territories in the middle, there were always a dispute between um, France and Germany, and that was the main origin for the German-French hereditary enmity um, until the 20th century. There were uh, several conflicts going on then, diplomatic and military conflicts, just if you just go back 150 years before sign the signing of the Elysee Treaty, there were the Napoleonic Wars, the Franco-Prussian War, and by the way, during this war in, nine, in 1871, the German Empire was founded. There was then, of course, the First World War and the Second World War. Now to the events. Germany unconditionally surrendered on the 8th of May, of May 1945. In 1949, West Germany was founded, and in 1951 the European Coal and Steel Community was established mainly or driven, driven by Germany and France. The reason for this community was, or the main idea was, if we connect our um, main industries, there cannot be another war in Europe. So subsequently the European Communities were founded in 1957. And as mentioned in 1963, the Elysee Treaty was uh, signed and this formalized the Franco-German friendship. In this treaty, both countries bind, uh, binding themselves to consultations with regards to foreign security, youth and cultural policies. And they also agreed to have meetings on a regular basis. Now, the German-French relationship depended much on the relationship of the German Chancellor and the French President. The um, signing of the Elysee Treaty was only possible because of the good relationship of Konrad Adenauer on the German side and Charles de Gaulle on the French side. Later, Helmut Schmidt and Valéry Giscard d'Estaing were very important. They brought the European currency system on the way which is, or which was, the necessary precondition for the European single market. Furthermore, they designed the NATO double-track decision and pushed it through. They convinced US President Carter to actually engage in this policy. Helmut Kohl and President François Mitterrand are very, very important to form the European Union, which we actually have today. Another important couple uh, was Chancellor Schröder and President Jacques Chirac. They had a joint position against the Iraq War of the United States, the United States and Britain in 2003. Chancellor Merkel and President Sarkozy, they were called Merkozy because during the Euro crisis they formed um, a common position and all the other member states, all the other Euro countries just had to say, all right, we do what you tell us to do. Now, what's the impact? Actually, the Franco-German French was very, very important to secure peace in Europe. And it was, as just shown, a few examples. It was the driving force behind the development, the foundation of the uh, European Union. For both countries, it meant they had a stronger international influence, power, but it was also always the threat that one partner might take advantage of the other. And it was actually quite important for the German reunification because Mitterrand was firstly, he, firstly he hesitated, but because of this fantastic friendship, he could not maintain his negative position towards reunited Germany. How to explain this relationship, this glorified Franco-German friendship? Well, one point you have to see, this actually could be a real and cordially understanding among, amongst nations after centuries of hereditary enmity. But historians, some historians say 
that there was actually nothing more than a calculated strategic alliance for the benefit of both of the partners. That was the Franco-German friendship in five.